guys, happy Sunday. So I'm just finishing up this sample I have of Obagi New Derm Sun Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Sunscreen Lotion. I took this with me on my trip and I just have a little bit left. It is uh, a combination sunscreen, uh, zinc and octinoxate. It is fragrance free. It's not water resistant. It's very expensive. Personally, I found it a little drying. Uh, it is a matte formulation. So I, I don't think this is worth the price point, but it's actually pretty comfortable to put on. It doesn't sting or burn. And uh, it's not greasy. It, um, like it says, it dries matte. So if that's what you're looking for, you, you might like this. But personally, I find it one of, to be one of the more drying sunscreens. I think it has vitamin C in it. Um, and vitamin C in a sunscreen like this is not going to be effective for attempting to address hyperpigmentation or anything. The vitamin C is just not going to get into your skin in a sunscreen lotion like this. Um, so yeah, but otherwise, uh, you know, I mean, I don't have any problem with this per se, but it is empty. And then on my lips, I just have some Vanny Cream Mineral SPF 30, water resistant. I'm almost out of this one. So that is the SPF today. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. What'd you get? Um, this morning I got tofu scramble mm -hmm. and um, black beans, mm -hmm. but I topped it all off with this really cool escabeche oh. cauliflower thing they have. Oh, yeah. Um, it looks like it's curried, too. Yeah. It's yellow. Yeah, I saw they had a tomato salad that had big mustard. It was a mustardy vinegar vinaigrette on the tomato salad. It had big mustard seeds in it. Oh. Yeah, but it also looked kind of oily. Salad so at the end too that looked good. Yeah. Was, but I already had my full. Yeah. Some, someone commented. Oh, someone commented. They asked if I could film over by the salad bar in Whole Foods to show the stuff up close. But I don't do that because there are a lot of people around, so it's yeah. challenging. It's challenging and kind of awkward. Yeah. Then, um, I think it makes people feel awkward. When yeah. You've got the camera there. Yeah, I, I can't really film over there, but um, trust us, it's good. <laughs> I'll try to sometime. Maybe if I'm in another Whole Foods sometime and there are people around. Anyways, I got um, cauliflower oats. You guys know I love to put cauliflower in my oatmeal, and so they have plain rice cauliflower on the buffet, so I mixed that in with their steel cut oats, which are made with water, so they're vegan, and I also put I also put edam, a little bit of edamame in there for protein, and uh, then I topped it with some strawberries, raisins, pecans, and black sesame seeds, and dusted it with cinnamon. So that's what I'm having. How's the cali, the escalation? Is it like pickly? Yeah, it's really lively tasting. Good morning. I saw they um, are coming out with a pickle beer. <laughs> okay. I, I imagine that might actually be good. You know, like they have that beer mixed with tomato juice, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I imagine pickle juice probably achieves a similar. thinking that it might have a lot of salt. In oh, of course it does, and yeah. Pickle and this beer. Yeah. That's a lot. That would be a lot. So there. the next morning you'd be terribly bloated after yeah. a couple of those. Hypertensive, that's for sure. Here at Target, this Target has like a new exterior. It looks really streamlined and chic. <laughs> so the Neutrogena Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Cleanser is a 10% benzoyl peroxide wash. Um, it's very similar to the La Roche-Posay Effaclair Acne Wash. Except that one has uh, LHA in it, which is L'Oreal's patented uh, uh, modified salicylic acid that exfoliates a little more precisely. And I believe the percentage strength of benzoyl peroxide is less than that than this. I think it's 5%. Uh, lower concentrations of benzoyl peroxide are equally effective at uh, acne control, but less irritating. But both products, the La Roche-Posay one and this one, have menthol in them, which can be irritating. And unfortunately, this one has fragrance in it, which is a bummer. 
But benzoyl peroxide washes are great uh, lathered to acne prone areas in the face or body left in place for a few minutes and then rinsed off. Benzoyl peroxide will will get into the pore to exert uh, comedolysis and will also exert anti-inflammatory outcomes and control control uh, bacteria that contribute to the inflammatory responses that drive acne. But my favorite is going to be the Panoxol uh, benzoyl peroxide uh, creamy wash and is fragrance free and no menthol. When I was a teenager I always used this and I alternated between the pink grapefruit one and the orange one. It does have fragrance in it but uh, it's a good basic BHA face wash. Uh, again, lather this to the affected area, leave it on plate, leave it on the skin for a few minutes and then rinse it off. Now, that will give you everything that you need from the salicylic acid without requiring a prolonged contact time that can lead to irritation. Neutrogena has this oil-free acne moisturizer. I don't recommend this. It's a leave-on salicylic acid product with fragrance in it, so this is going to be more likely to be irritating. Uh, but it's a good percentage strength for a leave-on product, 0.5%. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of the sal acid there on an ongoing basis. So, Yeah, grapefruit extract. I wish I didn't have that in it. But. And I don't recommend any of the St. Ives products like their oil-free salicylic acid green tea scrub. 1% salicylic acid, fine, that's great. But it's got fragrance in it. It's got um, these St. Ives products that have these really abrasive scrub particles for mechanical exfoliation, which can really, really lead to stratum corneum disruption that is irritating. You get transepidermal water loss. The, the, the skin response to that is uh, increased upregulation of inflammatory mediators that subsequently drive more acne. So that's not a good choice. So these are kind of cool in principle. They are um, little sheets that are impregnated with 2% salicylic acid that you put on and you get that short contact time and then with contact with water it then dissolves into basically a lather. I like that approach. Unfortunately, like with the face wash, they put um, fragrance in this. But you know, fragrance is less of a problem in wash wash off products than, than a leave-on. Fragrance and leave-on is, is more risky. Uh, but in addition to the 2% salicylic acid, now, salicylic acid is the acid that's the, the acne fighting one. Uh, it concentrates in the pores, can control oiliness. Uh, this also has uh, uh, an alpha hydroxy acid. It's got glycolic acid. Glycolic acid and alpha hydroxy acids in general, they don't do as much for acne. They really are just uh, exfoliants and they don't do much in terms of targeting the sebaceous gland. They're water soluble. Um, but they can increase penetration of active ingredients, so it's going to get you um, a really, really, I would say, more intense uh, delivery of the salicylic acid than just using the wash. So with that comes increased irritation. Comment below on if you've tried these. These, however, are a little goofy. They can, you know, remove sebaceous filaments, but they don't really do too much in terms of changing skin biology to help impart any kind of control for acne or seborrheic dermatitis or seborrhea. They're just kind of they're just kind of removing some of the surface stratum corneum which can be irritating. Um, likewise Biore has a charcoal version. Charcoal is just drying and in an irritant so I wouldn't use that one. What about the clean and clear blackhead eraser scrubby gel strip? This is kind of this is the exact same principle as the Neutrogena one. It's got glycolic acid and it's got the it's got the two offenses of menthol and fragrance, but it's got the defense of salicylic acid and uh, and glycolic acid. So that's good. That one is two percent. This one's two percent. Yeah, Clean and Clear has got this Advantage Acne Spa Treatment, which is a leave-on salicylic acid product. Um, unfortunately, it's got fragrance and cinnamon bark in it, which both are irritants, so this is not the best uh, leave-on salicylic acid product. The best one, it's pretty affordable, or a good one, is the Your Good Skin 
um, rapid acne spot treatment. I'll list it down below for you guys. All right, looky there. St. Ives came out with a fragrance-free face wash. This actually looks pretty decent. Um, it does have chamomile in it, which is actually anti-inflammatory. Uh, some people can still be irritated by that and have uh, sensitivity to that. But overall, this looks pretty decent. Cruelty-free. Uh, though it's Unilever. And many people will comment that Unilever is not cruelty-free. So, uh, yeah. Cruelty-free is not a regulated statement. So you really never know what you're getting with that, in my opinion. It could be, it could be tested by a third party. Who knows? We don't have enough transparency in labeling of of anything, but cruelty free is definitely one which is uh, kind of ambiguous. Cute. Two little yeah. I like those. Yeah, I, uh, I think this is what I was looking for. Perfect. Got a left target. <laughs> Jai <B. laughs> Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Is that way you for us? Spinny, spinny. Aww. Aww. See how he shakes his ears like that little cinema roll character? Yes, he does. Hey, cutie paws. Hey, my cutie paws. Hello. Hello. <laughs> did you watch the house while we were gone? Uh, did you make sure everything was okay? Doing my job. This is now I'm going to pull out all my toys. All right. Here at Ikea and my mom is looking for it. You're looking for a planter? <laughs> Yeah. No, you do just as good a job. Look at these pretty lanterns. I like those. It's a little this side light. Oh, this is cute. I'm not sure. Is that for paper towels? Oh, maybe. Here's a nice little hardback. Uh... Yeah, I was looking for that the other day in Target. Bottles. I walked by the uh, patio furniture. There was a man laying down on one of the lawn chairs just taking a nap. <laughs> he looked really comfortable. He looked comfortable. How about this? These are nice. Is that too... It kind of looks like a bedpan. It, it does look a little like a bedpan or reminiscent of it. It's cute though. It's for your... For those two plants I have up on the top. Um, Ikea has some pumpkins. Here's a pet you might like. <laughs> a wooden bird. <laughs> That'd get dusty. <laughs> I'd have to dust it. Pretty. I like those. Yeah, they're neat. They remind me of, uh, you know, when you go to the beach and you can do the sand art with all the colored yeah. sand? Kind of remind me of that. They're like little beads. The citrus doft. This looks like something that Tybee would go doft for. Is that for a little I think tea that's light? Just a decoration. I'm glad potpourri has kind of gone uh, by the wayside. It's yeah, always it a dust, a, an allergen, a bowl of allergens. 
So to me, they look like tennis balls. Yeah, they look like tennis balls. Look how cute this is. Is this a lamp? I like those. Aww. Balloon lights are cool. Oh, the little hedgehog. Yeah, it's a sweet little night light. Yeah. Makia has, looks like, different colored papers. Um, that might work, yeah. But I don't know how big the... It's, it flips out, see it's a basket. Oh, yeah. This is cute, this little storage, storage box. I also like these. Nice. Do they have uh, like pantry organization stuff? That's what I need to look at. My pantry is shameful. Maybe something like this. These kinds of things. I don't know. These are more for drawers, but to like store all of my yeah oh this is nice yeah it's like for in a drawer I love these little tail <laughs> they're cute aren't they yeah I had these that were bigger. These are nice. Yeah, I know. They are nice. Aren't these little backpacks cute? Doesn't look like it actually holds that much, but <laughs> it's adorable. The Kia batteries. We have a nice little hiking bag, you know, the water bottle. Go on a hike and draw something that you're inspired by in nature. Somebody's getting sleepy. Your new haircut really shows off your fluttery eyelashes, Tybee. <laughs> Well, hey guys, we're back. My mom actually ran out to run an errand, um, but this evening I have an event to go to, so I'm going to wrap up the vlog here because I'm gonna get home pretty late. Um, but um, I wanted to uh, end the vlog chit-chatting with you guys about CeraVe Baby. I have been using as my nighttime facial moisturizer CeraVe Baby cream, um, and my mom here has the lotion. Both are wonderful, um, and you know, typically I use CeraVe moisturizing cream in the tub, uh, but I recently ob obtained these and have been trying them out on my face, and they both work really well. Uh, the CeraVe Baby Moisturizing Cream and Lotion, they have dimethicone um, as kind of the selling ingredient, which is a skin protectant, really good for the skin barrier. 
Uh, they also have ceramides, just like CeraVe products, which can kind of help clue your skin barrier into kicking off some barrier repair. That will cut down on dryness and irritation. Um, and they also have niacinamide, like uh, the CeraVe PM. CeraVe moisturizing cream in the tub does not have niacinamide, but the baby products do. Um, and the main difference, another main difference between the baby products and the non-baby products is that they don't have any parabens in them. Uh, parabens, you know, I have a video talking about how parabens are not a bad preservative. They, you know, the fear mongering around them is not substantiated. Uh, but, you know, preservatives and skincare products can be a source of irritation. Parabens tend to not be so bad. Baby skin is very fragile and more susceptible to irritation by things. So the baby products are formulated without parabens, whereas CeraVe moisturizing cream in the tub, I believe does have parabens in them. So, you know, that's a little, that's a little difference. But otherwise this is great, a great choice, and tends to be a little less costly, I believe, in comparison to the, the non-baby products. So it's a good choice. You can get these on iHerb. Um, so that's how I obtain them. You know, there are some subtle differences between the products sold in the U.S. and those sold in Europe. Uh, there's some subtle differences in the formulation. It is going to affect things like texture, feel, maybe whether or not the product causes you, the individual, the sensation of stinging or, or burning. Sometimes, you know, it, regardless of the product, it, some percentage of people are going to experience burning and stinging with it. That's just the nature of putting things on your skin. Some people's skin, for whatever reason, there'll be something in there that causes stinging and irritation. So in other words, maybe uh, the products, uh, if you bought them in Europe, you might find that they are different and they cause stinging for you. You don't get along well with them, or vice versa. You come to the States and you pick up CeraVe here, you might find that you don't get along with it, or you may not really notice any difference. Um, so that's kind of, you know, a little something to remember is that brands, they, they'll vary their formulations in, uh, you know, from country to country. Uh, particularly in Europe, you know, they have more stringent regulations on ingredients. They're a lot stricter about fragrance, the amount of fragrance things can contain. Uh, so, uh, and, and certain parabens are, are prohibited in, um, in Europe, so you'll find some subtle differences between formulation, but overall, it doesn't really drastically alter the function of the product, which is to help your skin barrier in, in staying hydrated and healthy. Yeah. Ceramedics, though, by Earth Science, is um, a vegan and cruelty-free line of products. They have very, very small number of products that are fragrance free and have ceramides in them that are that are a great alternative to this so yeah i um i'll list those down below for you guys but anyways i hope you all enjoyed the vlog today i hope it was fun and informative um and of course ty b making the scene but if you liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow Bye.